This is an SU TV News Update, brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore. The Blue Key Honor Society is looking for talented students to participate in this year's homecoming show. The show will be October 5th at 7.30 p.m. in the Festival Concert Hall. If you or a group would like to audition, sign up by next Tuesday in the Student Activities Office. Auditions will be held September 25th, 7 to 9 p.m. and the 26th, 6 to 9 p.m. After a six-month delay, the Bison Monument was finally placed onto the podium. The monument, which was one of the goals of Luke and Jace, was donated by Rowers Construction. The placement was delayed for six months because of a required insurance procedure. The monument was permanently put into place on Albrecht Boulevard Tuesday morning. Vice President Jace Beeler says that the arrival of the statue has definitely made an impact on campus. things like that and uh, the reaction so far has been really great it's you know you can see it when you uh, from 12th Avenue there and uh, everyone that I've talked to said you know turning on to Albrecht is just a great way to great thing to see when you enter campus the new bison monument was a conglomeration of the student body presidents and vice presidents from the last two years the North Dakota State Supreme Court has refused to include the legalization of marijuana on the upcoming November ballot after the North Dakota State Secretary of State threw out petitions suspected of voter fraud, there were not enough supporters of the measure to continue on. Backers of the ballot say that the Secretary of State should have looked deeper into the petitions to confirm voter identity rather than discard the peti petitions altogether. A six-week national program to encourage young women to join the fields of science, technology, engineering, and math will soon be underway. An online mentoring system will provide college students with hundreds of prominent women as mentors. Several very successful women have been lined up as lead mentors, including May C. Jemison, the first female black astronaut. With volleyball and football both at home this week, there are plenty of ways for students to get out and show their bison pride this weekend. Volleyball starts off with their home opening match against Western Illinois Friday at 7 p.m. The Bison have won eight in a row against the Fighting Leathernecks. Saturday night, NDSU takes on IUPUI, who they have never lost a match to and are 12-0. Saturday afternoon, the Bison football team will take on Prairie View A&M in their last non-conference game of the season. The Bison defense has held their opponents to 10 points or less in nine of their last 17 games. Looking ahead now to the three-day forecast, today is mostly sunny, a high of 65. Tomorrow we have a chance of showers, and Saturday it will be sunny and 62. Looking ahead to, into next week, we'll see mid to high 70s or 60s and low 70s all week. Thank you for watching this SUTV News Update brought to you by the NDSU Bookstore.